Hello everybody, how do you do? I am glad you are here today. I'm Mr. B and I am here today to show you guys some of the instruments and things that I'll be using on this channel. I went to my school today and I picked up a couple of instruments to use for our purposes here on Musical Mr. B. I will hopefully be using all of these at some point during our YouTube adventure. Um, I have different ideas of things that I want to do, and I'm going to share a few of those later on in this video. I'm hoping this video is a little bit longer today, just because I have a couple things I wanna show off, a couple things I wanna talk about, and I'll go in different videos, I'll go more in depth of what instruments that I have and what I am using. So I have a full tub over here that I'm just gonna be pulling stuff out of. So bear with me for a quick second. Make sure that's shut. I hope the lighting is a little bit better today. I cut on an extra light here on my desk, so I'm hoping it looks a little better. And I'm trying out the horizontal video today. So if you wanted to turn and make it bigger, you get a little bit more of a view of the things behind me. As you guys can see, I'm a fan of both of these teams here. So if you are a fan of those, leave a comment down below or let me know what your favorite teams are since, you know, sports are getting into not being a thing. So I'm staying clean using my handy dandy hand sanitizer here before I grab things, just cause these, most of these are mine. I went and grabbed most of these and I have sanitized all of these already. So let's get into things. So the first thing that I'm gonna grab here is a cool one. So for all of my students at the preschool, you all know what this is. Hopefully my other friends do as well. This is called an ocean drum. Um, I'm hoping one day to make a video once I figure out how to make one on how to make one of these. So kind of like a DIY. One idea that I have for this channel was called Make It Monday. So I was gonna have everybody do a DIY instrument creation idea and I'm really hoping I can get that idea to take off. I have a couple of ideas for different ones that we can make already. This one is a little bit more advanced so that one might be a little bit farther down the road but the way this works is as you can see there are little beads in this drum. This is of course a plastic one but there will there are other ones that are bigger more ornate looking and they have different kinds of beads in them. Of course this is more or less a toy ish but it's not really a toy because it's an instrument but they're called an ocean drum because if you turn it it's supposed to emulate the sound of the ocean so this is a really cool one it's a very thin head you can also simulate the sound of rain on a roof So this one might be a fun one for sound stories coming later on. So that is the first instrument. So as an ocean drum, again, we will be using that to some lengths in some of our videos, some we won't, but it's okay because you know, all instruments are important. So this next thing is not an instrument, but my preschoolers know what I use this for. So for my parents, let me explain this to you and to my other students or anybody else watching this channel. If you're not one of my students and you're watching this, welcome to the channel. So this is yarn. As you can tell, it's obviously yarn. What I use this for is for pitch and for finding our differences in our high sound and our low sound. So what I would do, and I'm not gonna unravel the ball right now, but I would give each of the kids, each of the students, their own piece of yarn, make it you know pretty a good length, and we would make roller coasters out of these, or what I call pitch roller coasters. So what we would do, is we would take the string and we would make it as long or as short as we want and add loop-de-loops, add hills, whatever. And I'd have the students after we talk about pitch, which I'm gonna do a whole video on that. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do, you know, little hills or big hills or loop-de-loops, corkscrews, whatever you want to do. And I would have the students try and figure out what their roller coaster sounds like. So say you started low, you had a really big hill, and it went down. So obviously that would sound start low, go high, then low. So ooh, and that would sound really cool, especially with a whole class of preschoolers doing it, which is very funny. But 
I will do a whole episode on this. I think we might do multiple episodes on this. And please feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments of how you want these to sound. I think it would be fun if, like, say your student left a comment on what they wanted it to look like. And I try and recreate those comments. I think that would be very fun. It'd be a fun idea. And I could do them with different instruments, with my voice, whatever. So leave a comment down below if you want your roller coaster to be put onto a video. And I will shout out the comment and who did it. So make sure you subscribe so that you can leave comments. So, yarn. Fun things are fun. Next thing, I have a, a whole set of these for my preschool students. We have recently talked about these being things for pitch. These are called boom whackers. I think all my adults in the room probably played with these at one point or another in their elementary education, but these are really fun for pitch. They all make different sounds. I have one, two, three, and they're all different colors. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have a full octave set of these. An octave is from C to C. For all my preschoolers, it's the same thing as my xylophone. And they're all different colors and they all make different sounds. So I have some cool ideas of what I want to do with all of these. Kind of looks like a cannon at this point. But I have some cool ideas of what I want to do with these. These are going to be very musical, very fun. And I think I might involve some members of my family to help me out with these. Because Mr. B is not an octopus. I could not play eight different tubes. I can play two. Sometimes three. Depending on how far apart they are. But it might involve my family. So you might be seeing some family collabs on the channel. So those are boom whackers. And they will be on the channel. Um, I grabbed some scarves. Just for fun if we wanted to do some exercises or something like that some kind of relaxing exercise or something like that outside just in case um these are super fun to play with super fun to juggle i mean and they're all really pretty colors and things like that so i grabbed these just in case i wanted to do something with those because you can never be too sure what you want to do things with i grabbed some symbols I grabbed one set of these. These are not the best symbols and they're kind of, they're about the same size as like a small dinner plate, about the size of my face. But these, you, everybody already knows how these sound. You know, super simple, super fun. I might do some attention getters or something like that with these. So I I'm like, once I get my video editing software and I want to do jump cuts or something like that, I could be like transition or something like that. So we'll see where we go with these, but these are fun symbols. Always super fun to play with. I have the cymbals. We're filling out our percussion session. I'm going to go through the next set pretty quick because there's um, just some books and things like that in here as well. But I have a couple more instruments I'd like to show. Maraca. I grabbed the loud one just because I like the loud one. Um, the top part is made out of plastic. The handle's made out of wood. There are beads on the inside. I would like to do a DIY make your own maraca thing at some point. And i got to figure out, you know, material list and things like that. So stay tuned for that video. But this will be fun. Super loud, super fun. Hopefully, headphone users, you are not bleeding at the ears at this point from the from the first the tambourine and then the maraca. Also have a big drum. I grab. I have drumsticks up here as well. So this will be used quite often, I think, just for rhythm and things like that. So drums are always fun. Grab the tambourine. Also good with a drum head. Um, this will also be fun for rhythm activities and things like that. I grabbed some sand blocks. I already have, and I think this will be our first Make It Monday idea. I'll either do this or some kind of shaker as to where, how you can make your own sand block at home, or at least get a material list together for everyone to make their own. So I think that would be fun and it involves science and technology and building as well as music. So kind of a roundabout cultural activity. I grab a recorder. I'm not going to get it out just for purposes of not making uh, all the parents unsubscribe. I will be playing this at some point. I don't know exactly when, but that will be used as well. I also grab some rhythm sticks. I grabbed two different sets. I grabbed a plain set just for hitting. And I also grabbed a ribbed set just so we can have some extra sound effects for our sound stories, just in case we'd like to use those for those. 
And then the last two instruments are my personal ones that I wanted to make sure I went and grabbed. In case we get a little festive, I grab my sleigh bell, which is always fun. And then the classical hit for sound stories, which I'm gonna take a little bit more time on in today's video, just so we can have a little bit of extra length. So everybody has a nice little chunk for everyone to watch. A preschool favorite, the thunder tube. Now, I'd like to explain how the thunder tube works. So there's a coil or a spring down here on the bottom, okay? What it does, let me make sure it's, yeah, okay, it's attached correctly, that's awesome. Make sure it's in there right. So this spring hits this piece of drum head. And what the drum head does is it vibrates the sound into the thunder tube. Thunder, just because it looks like it and that's what it sounds like. And on the inside, it is hollow, as you can see, and you can see where my finger is down here at the bottom. It hits the drum head, the sound comes out through the tube, and it projects through this hole. So if I hit the drum head, you can hear it. So this coil, or this spring down here at the bottom, as I shake it, it makes the sound come out of the top. Now, the way I explain this to my preschoolers is there is a way that you can make a small storm, a medium storm, a big storm, and a thunderclap. So I will do all of those for you all really quick. So I want you guys to think for a second because I'm always asking this of my students, where and how do I make a sound with the tube? If I just shake this string, does it make a sound? No. If I just shake the tube, does it make a sound? No. It takes both together to make the sound. So, I'm gonna go through the different sounds of storms really quick. So you have a light storm. It echoes for a little bit. As long as the spring is shaking and hitting the drum head, it'll make a sound. Medium storm. Loud storm or big storm. also have the thunderclap, which is my favorite. Always super fun and always a great tool for the kids to learn from. So the thunder tube is definitely going to be used in some different stories. It's actually quite appropriate that I'm using this today because on the day of recording this, uh, March 25th, it's raining outside, so it's not thunderstorming, which is great. But this is super fun and super exciting, especially for the kids. All the kids really enjoy this. I'm hopefully going to get my family together, and we're going to recreate my sound story that I wrote called The Story of the Storm, which I that was the last thing that I actually got to do with my preschoolers before uh, the schools were shut down due to COVID-19. So I would like to recreate that and bring it here on YouTube. So that is pretty much all of the instruments and tools that I brought. As I stated in the earlier video, I have my piano over here. I have a couple of other small instruments and such around in my room. I have an extra recorder. I have um, uh, Melodia, which is a smaller piano, which is very fun. It is a airblown piano, which I'll have a whole separate video of where I'm doing things with that and explaining how the sound is made with that. I have a flute, so we can all experience playing the flute together, which is super fun. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is more or less an introduction to the different things that I have um, at my disposal. And I'm wanting tomorrow's video to be creative and explorate, explorative, explorative. Leave a comment down below on how to say that word. Anyway, so. I want the kids to be able to explore and do some things outside in tomorrow's video. So I might start tomorrow's video in here and then we will travel to the outside world. Uh, I will say as a, per, as not as a precaution, but as a preparation, you guys will need a paper, piece of paper, a pencil or something to write with, colored pencil, crayon, pen, marker, chalk, whatever you would like to do. 
and ask your families or parents if you would like for your students to have a chance to do this. You will need a piece, a Tupperware container, no matter how big, how small. Probably not super huge, like a macaroni salad bowl or something like that. Maybe just something, you know, about yay big. Doesn't have to be huge. And it'll be a big experiment of finding things outdoors. And we will be doing an experiment with loud and soft dynamics. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below for the multiple questions that I ask in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Is the lighting okay? Is the horizontal video work a little bit better? I made this video a little bit longer today, so hopefully you guys have a little bit more content to watch on this rainy day. And I'd just like to thank you guys all once again for helping me share this video out with all the different kids around in our area as well as on YouTube as well. Please feel free to share this on your social medias. I have no issues with that. If you would like to, I have no problem. If you would like to tag me, if you know me personally, then please feel free to tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you would like, whatever social media outlet you are liking to do that through. And as I said, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you would like notifications when I go live or when I post a video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mr. B out.